It is Bamboo Spin, the latest single from No Water, No Moon. Thank you once again, Bamboo. Thank you. Thank you. This is Jam 88.3. We get the hits first. Brandon Flowers, Crossfire, and of course, before that, you heard the latest single from Bamboo, and it's from the album No Water, No Moon. The song is called Spin. Spin. And it's very sweet, the way he described it. I know. Right? Well, you know, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's like, you know, the year 2012, right? It's a brand new year, and from the year of the rabbit, we're in the year of the dragon. So I, I've always had this feeling that this year is going to be great, not just for myself, actually, but for everybody who's mm -hmm. intent on uh, doing something new and, and basically just trying something new for a change. And most definitely, I see already, like, a, a difference in the sound for yeah. Bamboo's uh, latest album. And it does have that sort of kind of... Uh, I don't know. That, it's that, one of those things. That, that factor. It, Hence, it's black, right? Exactly. Because it makes you feel like... dramatic, melancholy, but happy at the same time. You yeah. Know that? Yeah. Kind of like how when you look back at things in your life and, uh, you know, you reflect on things mm -hmm. and it makes you smile because of all the things you've experienced and mm -hmm. you've done and you're grateful for. So definitely check it out. Jam 88.3. That is Block Party Blue Light. Speaking of uh, light, for a lot of musicians, out there and uh, just a lot of you know people in general uh definitely one person who has been their light i'm sure with regards to music and just life in general is you know somebody who's been in the music biz for a long time and knows exactly how it works so please welcome to the studio tonight bamboo hello hello, hello happy to be here it's tuesday all right well you know we're looking at your album right now and as soon as i saw it i was like wow um, this looks really nice. Really no water, neat. no moon. No water, no moon. That's right. Okay. A little bit of story behind that? B behind the title? Yeah. It's a Japanese koan. Well, to me, you know, you, you sort of find your own meaning. Okay. Koan, right? But to me, it's about enlightenment. It's about a new beginning. So, uh, you mentioned enlightenment, so yeah, it yeah. seems a little bit of like how the, you know, um, well, the karma and all that stuff, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah? yeah that's, 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 that's sort of my thing, right? Okay, so you know you've got your um, your single uh, spin, which we will be playing in just a bit. But right now, you know, let us have you guys check out one other track in the album. This one is called "In Shadow," which we'll keep as a bed, um, just to tease you guys. But definitely, this is an album that you guys I think should check out. Um, it's very unique, and it's not something that fits in the back of your pocket. Exactly. So it doesn't get lost easily among all the piles of CDs that you might have at home. Because your iPad. <laughs> so uh, tell us, what have you been doing um, in the last uh, couple of months for the year 2012? Last couple of months, just been basically just uh, promoting the new album and uh, been busy with gigs and uh, here, you know, here and there, TV. So uh, it's, uh, it's been good. It's been, it's been a good ride so far. Okay, well, we have a listener who says, Advance Happy Birthday. Is it really going to be your birthday yes, soon? Yes, so uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. What are your plans for your birthday, if you My can birthday, divulge that? Well, divulge a nice quiet birthday. I prefer that for now, yeah, so uh, we'll see. A little bit of a house party, I'm Maybe house party, a few friends. Yeah. Much, okay. I have a question, though, that made me curious. Why an owl in front? Because it's black, it's neat, Yeah. and all you see is no water, no moon, bamboo, and then an owl. It, it just sort of, I just thought it tied in with, the, with how the title ties in with the, with the music, and then the owl sort of ties in with the moon, and the owl's a solitary bird, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, there's a lot of meaning to it, mm -hmm. so uh, they're very mysterious. Bird of prey, blah blah blah. So yeah, so right. it's, uh, yeah, and there's a magic to it. I, I it's uh, it goes back to when I was a little boy, you know. And, uh, owls. So you had a owl, deep connection I, I, with owls. No, I, I, I had a thing with uh, with owls in uh, sort of the with Nid Blinden, I think the author, mm -hmm. like, a myth, like a fantasy world and stuff like that. Owls in that when I was mm -hmm. little. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you know, you you've been 
um, a songwriter for you know such a long time do you ever get into uh, sort of a phase wherein you just can't seem to write anything that you're satisfied with I think it always happens. so what do you do when that happens you just keep on keep on you know, you know you just right away you know what I mean so uh, as much as possible I try to stay moment to moment you know mm -hmm. and just write from the gut you know, right? so, so some most of the time you write stuff out and it's just basically and then, uh, <laughs> right? and it evolves uh, from there. Yeah, and you sort of evolves from that. You sort of pick up pieces from that and mm -hmm. you build into something else. Do you ever get writer's block all the time? Yeah, or all the time. Yeah. All the time. Okay. Well, you know, you mentioned about enlightenment earlier. And, uh, you know, this is, um, you know, something that a lot of people probably don't know exactly how to attain. Uh, what have you attained in regards to enlightenment that has been what a big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that some sort yeah. of wisdom that you can. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much so far. It's I don't know. I don't know. But it's I guess it's the search. It's a sort of like the goal of trying to gain it. Mm -hmm. That's that's the whole thing. You know what I mean? That's that's the, that's, that, that's the race for me. It's the journey. As they say, right? Mm -hmm. so it's not the destination. It's the, it's the journey. That's true. Yeah. Download the songs at mymusicstore.com.ph and iTunes. All yeah. right, cool. fantastic. Well, we've got your, uh, you know, your single spin. Just tell us a little bit about that because we'll be playing it as uh, you know yeah. you say goodbye on air later. So tell us about spins, this. Spins a whole narrative. So I just say it's it's a um, it's a sweet song. It's a it's you and me against the world, and I'm sorry. Wow. Type of song. That, that's our deal. You know, <laughs> okay. I, I screwed up and. Uh, you know, and it's just us, and that's sort of deal. So it's my contribution again to. Is it know. safe to say you're a hopeless romantic in a way? I don't know. I don't know. It's, not, it's tough for me to say. I don't know. But uh, the poncho's laughing, so. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. He seems to know about it. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, here it is. Uh, with no further ado, we're gonna play you guys Bamboo's latest single, and it is, of course, from the album. Awesome packaging, by the way. No water, no moon from Bamboo. Bamboo, thank you so much thank for, for dropping me. by. Thank you. Um, you know, wish I'll you the best. The, yeah, and we'll talk about conspiracy. Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah, I'll, bring, I'll bring my own. You're not <laughs> just kidding around, right? I got, I got a whole baggage full. All right. 
right. Well, we're definitely going to have bamboo again for Why Tuesdays. And uh, we'll find out a different side of bamboo. Not the musical side, but the, you know, kind of curious. Yeah. Oh, the curious right. side. Because I think, you know, in life, we've got to be curious, right? Got to be. All right. Well, here.